So I mean, we have two people here. Still, we have two minutes time, okay. so no problem. Our friend uh, Lakshman ji has wanted to know. He wanted to join KV Lakshman. Okay. Uh, I sent him link and then. Uh, yeah. He is not here as of now. We'll see. In two minutes, he'll want. Webinar is on, so who said can ever can come can come. Okay, one more. I just wanted. I love these so hard okay. because I am North Indian, so you know. Basically, these are our curriculum. Pani aisa bolye, man ka apa khoye, auro ko sital kare, aur apu ko sital hoye. Apu sital hoye, excellent, excellent. Or another beautiful one. Jati na puche sadhu ki, puch lije gyan, mol karo talwar ki, kada rehne do gyan. Isko mein gaake karta hoon, I sing the doha. Okay. I sing like this, you know. जाति न पूछे साधु की पूछ लीजिए ज्ञान मोल करो तलवार की पड़ा रहने दो म्यान कबीरा तो ऐसा गाता हूँ फिर I tell people sing with me and then explain the meaning wow wow one hour of solid ज्ञान और entertainment yeah I mean, like that we do have uh, ah. Rahim, ah. uh, Kabir, Tulsi Das Ji. Tulsi Das Ji, excellent. Yeah, so these are the people. And do you know uh, which language these um, uh, Dohas are written? Kabir, Kabir wrote a lot in bridge bhasha. Okay, and he Rahim? He was really trained, he didn't know how to write. So basically, uh, in UP, there are two languages. Ah. One is Avdhi. The uh -huh. other one is bridge bhasha. Bridge bhasha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So most of the like Amir Khusro in 11th century. Uh -huh. uh, if you heard um, uh, that song, Chhap Tilak. Ah ha ha ha. In Mose Naina Milai ke. Ah Mose ha ha. Yeah. So this is written in Abdi basically. Ah uh ha. -huh. Yeah. So basically all the Dohas and you know Muhavras, Hindi Muhavras basically. Uh, or Ram Charit Manas is also oh. written in Avdi. Oh, yeah, Avdi language. Yeah. So, in fact, you know, I studied in Calcutta. Okay. I studied Hindi as first language. Okay. So, yeah, my God, God, the God, the Ras, the God, the Yes. Or Vyakaran. Correct. So I studied Hindi of a very high standard. Okay. So when I speak or sing or say this in Hindi, no one they doubt whether I am a South Indian. Yeah, of course, because you born in, you know, Calcutta. I mean, you spend your life in Calcutta, so. So, जब मैं हिंदी बोलता हूँ या हिंदी में गाता हूँ, जैसे यार आपको तो उर्दू प्रोनंसेशन इतना अच्छा है, साउथ इंडियन को कभी ऐसा सुना ही नहीं. I think four people are in. क्यों? But nobody is. I four people are in attendees. I'm promoting them. Please accept. Please accept as panels. Yeah. Two, three of them accepted. Yeah, they They may not come on video. Never. So we will do sometime ah. Kabir and Rahim as well. Ah, Kabir Rahim karte in Doha. We'll do. Yeah. Kabir ke Dohe, uh, sing the Doha and explanation and stories in English. Correct, correct. We'll do. We'll do that. Plan karte. We'll as, see seniors today ke hamare jo program hone chahiye na kuch standard hona chahiye. Correct, correct. Hmm. And, I, and I believe you read a lot of books, correct? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Because remembering everything is, you know, it's pretty uh, hard until unless you keep on reading the books. I, keep, I, I keep writing. Okay. Have you read the Meluha tri uh, trilogy, Shiva trilogy? Shiva trilogy, I could read only one. Which one? The first one, second one, one third one? one. The first, first one. one. Meluha. Yeah. Okay. The, the second one is even better and the third one is fantastic. I mean, all three books are very good. I read the works of yeah, apna, Dev Dutt Patnaik ke books. Mein Dev Dutt Patnaik, yeah. Very good writer. Very I mean, good. even there a program was used to come on um, some channel, Epic channel. Ah, ah, there was an Epic channel ah, and his program used to come in uh, in the night or I don't remember in the evening and those were the very good because his explanation of Dant stories mm -hmm. in in Hindi Dant stories are the stories which are locally 
talked yes. about like yes. Yeah. Uh, one of the stories uh, ganesh ji ka daant kaise toota one ah. of the tusk has been you know right. so there are too many two three stories and right. dev the patnaik used to tell that the books story is completely different from because he tulsi das ji was trying to uh, right. yeah there was a competition between tulsi das and ganesha so he said ki i <laughs> only dictate the story and you have to write it ah, so correct. he then broke his task and start writing ram charit pan oh, break so, balmiki his... sorry balmiki balmiki and ganesh yeah so balmiki said ki i'll only pronounce uh, say and you have to write so then he broke his task okay, and then he start writing bahut acha very excellent story is beautifully in fact yeah. today's uh, the ramayan stories mm-hmm. i'll be bringing it to 20th century hamare 21st century explanations i'll be bringing even uh, i mean mythology i am very interested in mythology hey so we bharat we will do ramayan and due course we will do mahabharat stories ek din exclusively we will do akbar birbal stories betal 25 se karenge ek ek din correct 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 one day fully betal 25 se bhi yeah you uh, told one story last uh, session yeah. which was very good who will get the bride yeah, who will marry the bride <laughs> उटरी Okay, I make you the host, a co-host basically. Yeah. So eight people all together. Yeah. Fine. I guess eight people are there. Yeah. Chal, shuru karein. Yes, sir. Please. Oh, good evening, Noste friends. Today I have chosen our book uh, Ramayan. from which i will be sharing some stories with you the stories are not uh, lectures i don't like preaching so i will not be preaching i will also not telling you you know advice aise kare waise kare like i said you no know, these are stories to which you should be able to personally relate we should see what is happening in the society today and we should be able to relate to those stories so that is the purpose of the story and we should also use this opportunity to know about india's culture the rich culture of india uh, which our grandparents knew which i was taught by my grandparents grandparents and my guruji this rich culture people should have access to so let me give you a brief introduction to the mai and then the timeline and then i'll go to the stories so ramayan is called an itihasa itihasa means history so you should not ask a question whether ramayan really happened it is history itihasa aise hi hua it happened it so happened it is a history it's a real life event there was a prince the prince was exiled he took his newly married wife and his brother along and somewhere during the course of the journey his wife got abducted he raised a small army from the local people went to that abducting king's kingdom defeated that person and brought his wife back on a tree so this is history now around this history a poet built what is called amar kavya so you have a story a real life story around the story you have built a poem so therefore the basic element of the story remaining the same this element of the story remaining the same something about the story you know description will be poetic 
So like for instance, they will be talking about traveling back to the kingdom. We'll see that story. By Pushpak Viman. So Pushpak Viman is a two-seater flying vehicle. It was meant for Ram and Sita. Then what happened? Lakshman said, I will also come. Anuman said, I will also come. The entire Vanar Sena also got into it. So now the poet's imagination takes over. Poet's imagination says, the more the people who joined the Viman, the Viman also expanded in size. So this is poetry. Now, if you ask me scientifically, is there such a thing? I may not have an answer. But can you appreciate a poetry? Can you appreciate the poetic part of it? So like that, we'll see some story. So Ramayana is Itihas. Then let's take the word itself, Ramayana. Ayan means journey. Yes, Uttarayan, Dakshinayan. Ayana means journey. Like Dakshinayan means movement of the earth to the south side. Uttarayan, movement of the earth to the north side. Uttarayan, Dakshinayan, we know. So Ramayan, you can say, journey of Rama. Rama's journey. Sri Ram's journey. Okay? But if you want to really benefit from Ramayan, change the reading to journey towards Rama. Sri Ram ka ki yatra ya Ram ki or yatra. My journey is towards Ram. And who is Ram? Mariyada Purush. Purusha Uttama. In fact, the name Purushottama is given only to Sri Ram, no other person. Otherwise, in Pariyayavachi Shabd, some of the words are interchangeable. So, somebody who has three eyes, Ukutri Netra, Boldate, Shiva, Alava, some gods are also referred to as three Netra. But when it comes to Purushottama, we refer only to Ram. And one more thing about Ram, you should, people who are familiar with Dance, Nritya, Nritya Kala. The moment you tell them, show me Ram's pose, the dancer will stand like this. Matlab, head, speech, and action in a straight line. My conduct is Arjava. Arjava means head, mouth, action in a straight line. I say what I think. I do what I say. Mariyada Purush. Pran jaye par vachan na jaye. So these are the standards Ram stands for. So with this opening background, we'll see some stories. We'll see the brief story of Ram. Before that, we'll see the timeline. Okay. Timeline also is important because see, if today you go down to, let's say in south, deep down south, and you are saying, I am able to see the, the bridge that was constructed by Sri Ram's army to cross over to Lanka. They say, I'm there and all it's visible. I am not disputing that. Okay. Similarly, Ram was born in this particular place. I am not disputing all that. They are subjects I will not be touching. But we will have to look at it with a certain timeline in mind. So, Ramayana is supposed to have uh, happened. It happened in Treta Yuga. So, there are four Yugas. Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga and now we are going through Kali Yuga. How to calculate time? 360 human years is equal to one Deva Varsha. So, 360 human years, our years, is equal to one Deva Varsha. That's why we use Shraddha once in a year, you know, it's one day for the Devas. So, every day you are giving them tarpan food. So, 360 is equal to one year. 1200 Deva Varsha is equal to Kali Yuga. So, that means 4,32,000 years is Kali Yuga. 
वी आर इन ईयर नंबर फाइव थाउजेंड एटी सिक्स अभी बहुत बाकी है दिल्ली अभी दूर है नाउ टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड देव वर्षा इज इक्वल टू द्वा पर योगा सो फोर लैख थर्टी टू डबल एट लैख सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड ईयर्स इज द्वा पर योगा सो रामायण अकर्ड इन हैपेंड इन त्रेता युग That means it happened eight lakh seventy thousand years before. Look at the timeline. What happened eight lakh seventy thousand years before? Can we get solid evidence today? I am not disputing. For sentimental reasons, you know, for me, Rama is a Maryada Purush. Okay, the day, the moment I say Shri Ram, something happens to me. Some Maryada Purush. For such a person, for my bhakti, for my sentiment, I can look at certain things and I say these things remind me of Rama. The name Ayodhya reminds me of Rama. Rama. Then I go to deep down. And go to Ganesh Koti, and from there, when I see that a bridge, it reminds me of this. So all these are signs which indicate, which which remind me of this great text called Sri uh, Ramayana. So this is the background. It is written by Balmiki, and then it's written by our Tulsi Das Ji. And there are so many people who have written about Rama. We will look at some nice stories, and we will see how we can relate to those stories. So the story starts with: there is a king, Dasharatha. He had three beautiful wives: Aushalya, okay. Kaikeyi, and Sumitra, and four lovely sons: Ram, Bharat. Lakshman and Shatrughna. Bharat is the second. Kai Kai is son. Ram is Kaushalya's son. Sumitra gave birth to twins, Lakshman and Shatrughna. Right from childhood, Lakshman got attached to Shri Ram. Shatrughna got attached to Bharat. So the story is very beautiful. We have to start relating. King Dasharatha was in a battle, and when he was in a battle, or maybe he was in a journey, one of the wheels of the chariot came off. You know that that is called kete, no? The one which that that holds the wheel in place, that came off. So the story says that he how will he manage the horse and the wheel also? And he was driving with his queen Kaikeyi. So they say Kaikeyi put her finger there. And prevented the wheel from falling off. She saved Dasharatha's life. So Dasharatha, in a very emotional moment, said, "I will give you three boons. Take it now." Kaike said, "Thank you for the boons, Maharaj, but I will cash it when I need." He said, "Okay, done. Now think. This is for you and I and all of us to think. Okay. Can you make a king like that? Can you make a promise? Forget your king. There are some married guys here. Can you make a promise like that? You are mango. Kuch bhi mango three, and ask it whenever you like. Can you? That's why I say relate it to your life. Can you say, ask me any time in my lifetime?" So, no, see, I have given you cash it today. Otherwise, it expires tomorrow morning. Abhi, for instance, we are putting our bank login ID, password. Then it will say, check your mobile for an OTP. The OTP lasts only for hundred seconds. It's not available for the rest of your life. <laughs> it cannot be like that. So he give you a a, a boon with a one time password. You can't give a one time password for a lifetime. What is the learning? Security risk. 
it is a security risk and it makes you vulnerable it exposes you to risk and being a raja having given a word if you go back on the word you lose credibility so story first lesson which you and i can learn when you make a promise don't be emotional okay always filter your words through there are two types of reaction one reaction is called a reaction the other is called a response what's a reaction act and think what is a response think and act so being in not just in, even not only a raja even you and i we are all intelligent educated people we are professionals we are in so many situations before you make a promise think having made a promise live up it. and if you are not careful while making promises we will expose ourselves to we, we become vulnerable we become we expose ourselves to risk that is story number 1 from dasharatha's contact now let's come down for so on the day he says next week on this muhurta shri ram is going to be crowned crown prince he has made the announcement and everybody is rejoicing one lady she came to the queen kaikey she said look you will always be second only you can never be first first will always be kaushalya and now kaushalya son will become raja so she will be queen mother you will not be queen mother you and your son will always get second hand citizenship only in this country what happened to this lady an otherwise intelligent lady otherwise very beautiful lady who was so i mean the king was so fond of her among his three queens he was so fond of kaikeyi so fond of kaikeyi this went for a toss so then you are in responsible positions and people come and pass rumors into your ears think before you act on them especially if you are going to be in responsible positions people will always come and give you they don't stand to gain you know they don't stand to gain anything at all this lady who poisoned kaikey's mind didn't stand to gain anything there is a beautiful story behind her you know? she was referred to as a very ugly looking person who was hunchback so psychologically suppose some people have very low self image okay there is something called self image all of us have the self image all of us have. without it if you are born a human being you will have self image how you know how self image works there was a fellow who owned a dog he took it out for exhibition big dog another fellow brought a small dog and that that dog won the prize this fellow who had a big dog you know he committed suicide dog lost the competition his self image got damaged so <laughs> that is a problem with human beings so if you are suffering from low self image you will have problems and if you listen to people who have so low <coughs> low self image they will bring down your sense of happiness also suppose like there are people there suppose you say you know, there are so many people you tell some person see i got a new one a new phone how much did you pay i paid about a lakh and 12000 are you go to bombay crafford market 12000 mein milega aapko you are wasting 1 lakh rupees on this they will not be able to appreciate one bit like yesterday we had a very nice music competition organized by our seniors today seniors a lovely music competition i invite everybody to come and become witness and later on participate also 
the wonderful music competition. Suppose you go back and say, I am among the top 10. People will say, some people will say, very good, very good, very good. Some people will say, in this old age, do you need all this? A third fellow will come and say, my standard will be very lower. That's why you won. So his, he has never won anything in his lifetime. He will bring down your happiness also. And you will really start doubting. Or they will come and say, see, we have a system. We have a very nice system. Our organizers face a lot of problems. Every, there are a thousand emails saying how your judging was not correct. So like for instance, we have four people selected in every round. A group, A group, B groups. Two people are editor choice. Two people are by popular votes. One fellow will call and say, if you pay so much, I can get you 300 votes. What is this? Here? People will say all this. They say these people are paying money and getting votes. This is a person with a small, low self-image. You know, in Hindi, they say, you know, Nindak, a fellow who knows a grumbler who always finds fault. Cynical person. So if you listen to cynical person, your buddhi will be destroyed. So Kaike listened to a cynical person and her buddhi got destroyed. In fact, Sri Ram used to call Kaikeyi Mata and he used to go to, he never used to come to Kaushalya, he used to come more to Kaikeyi. And he poisoned her, and this lady poisoned her mind. Okay, so, beware of people with self-image. Always beware of people who talk to you. Shall I tell you something? Beware. The moment you say, I'm telling you something. Don't share it with anyone. No problem. This is a problem. This. Okay, so beware. This is a sign for care, carefulness. Relate to it. Are you able to relate to it? You are in a very senior position. Okay, then your tea boy will be serving tea. As he is mixing tea, he says, ah, the chawla sahab is not okay, sir. And he will be a trusted fellow. You will start thinking against chawla sahab. Just the tea fellow. You have to be a little careful. Just watch. Now let's go to the third story. In the third story, <coughs> Bean Kaike calls Sri Ram and says, Your father told me that you should go to the forest and Bharat should be crowned prince. This is your father's orders. What did Ram say? He did not say, Chalo, I will get a stay order. Let me talk to my father. He didn't say, My father, at 70 years of age, has become senile. That's why he married three times and his buddhi is gone. He told Kaike, Why do you have to say father's name? I am calling you mother. You say, I am giving you orders. I will go. That's what he said. He said, Mata, you tell me, go to the forest. Don't come back at all. I won't come back. Why do you have to use that old man's name? There are certain situations in life when you will face crisis like this. When you face a crisis like this, it is very important to rise above the situation. That is what gives you credibility. And credibility is earned by right communication. Excellent communication. Said, Why do you have to take father's name? You tell me. I will go. So what happened in the first chapter itself, Ram's credibility as a person is established. And he is not saying, give me 20 days, try it. Let me pack my bags. He said, I am ready to go now. Not only am I ready to go now, I am not asking for palace cars, chariots, palanquin full of uh, food for so many days. He said, when I go to exile, I will have to live like a person on exile. Means living off the land. So he dressed in very, very simple clothes. His wife said, I will join with you. She went. The brother said, I will. We'll come to that story a little later. 
So here I'm, I want to tell you a small story, nice story. Uh, when I was working, I have a very close friend and we used to sit and talk every day. And one day he said, one of our colleagues, his daughter, had gone to got married and within three months she came back to her father's house. And there was some problem. Something was not working. So then uh, this man, a nice friend of mine, yes, of course, I was a, a department head, he was a junior officer. And he told me, sir, you are a Ramayan exponent. What story you will have to tell for us? So I told him a story. I said, Ram, who was supposed to be the crown prince, King Janak, Mithila Naresh, got his daughter Maithili married to the crown prince of Ayodhya. Now because of property dispute, no money is coming to the first son. Okay. In your and my time, what will happen? Father will call daughter on the mobile phone. He'll say, Gharaja. Let him go alone. You know, in entire Ramayana, Janak does not talk to Ram or Maitri after the, uh, yeah, after the wedding. Meaning, the parents of the girl, once she is grown up and thought fit to be married, the parents should empower the daughter so well. He's not ignoring, okay? The father is confident, Sita is my daughter and she knows how to live. He did not interfere at all. He married not just one, all his two daughters and his brother's two daughters were married into the same family. None of them interfered in this. Why I'm telling you the story is, this man said, like for instance, during the time, uh, those days, you know, we didn't have mobile phone. I go back to my early 20s. Then in a building, when there were 10 flats, only two flats had telephones. So all 10 flats used to use the two telephones. Any day, knock and sir, may I use your phone? Uncle, may I use your telephone? And everybody said, use now. Now, what is the condition today? There is one landline. Each one of us has a mobile phone and sometimes it will a dual SIM also. Oh, so we are so glad. Therefore, in the, in the house, the husband and wife are communicating. Would you like to have tea or coffee by WhatsApp messages? That condition is. Now, while there is a communication revolution, what has happened? So this man told me a story. See, those days, let's say the daughter is married, gone. Let's say he is in Delhi. And the daughter has gone to Jaipur. And the Jaipur, there is some fight with the husband wife. There is a small quarrel. So the daughter, what will she do? She will do after whole day crying and things like that. She will take up one inland letter and start writing a letter. And she will write the inland letter when nobody is watching. Okay. So three days it will take. After three days, she will post. It will take seven days to reach Delhi. So fight happened last Sunday, letter will come next Wednesday. The father will read the letter. Two, three days he will discuss with the mother. And then what he will do? He will write a letter. Betty, this is how it will be. You have to learn to adjust and things like that. So he will write after three days. It will take another seven days to reach. 20 days between fight and reply. Daughter will write back. In fact, I am pregnant and carrying also. Okay. Now what happens? Husband, wife quarrel. Husband goes to office. Daughter sends WhatsApp message to father. Father says, you don't worry. I, will, I have booked the tickets, air ticket. Here is the link. Okay. Here is the link. I have booked a cab for you also. You don't have to pack anything. Some one of these motorbike service fellow will give you food on the way. Don't worry, when you come to Delhi, I would have, have one full, uh, what do you call, wardrobe ready for you. You don't even have to carry a towel. So morning there is a quarrel. Husband goes to office. Evening when he comes back, wife is gone. 
she is already in delhi and when you are exchanging messages what happens block kar do so in today's technology if you are not careful with your communication the chances of families breaking are very heavy those days when we were writing we had to think and write we had to write with fountain pen we had to think and write carefully but like in other days to read again then send it across so in today's life because of speed of communication we used to speak even that was better but after the coming of these two apps you know where you can send messages like that and all meaningless messages are also exchanged meaningless meaningless emojis which create problems at home some emoji will come the lady of the house will say she said why is he setting you heart what reply i will give so be aware of communication third lesson very important lesson to which all of us relate to i was talking with abhishek a little while ago kabir das ji has a lovely doha for this aisi bani boliye man ka apak hoye औरन को शीतल करे आप ही शीतल हो अल्टीमेट पर्पज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज यू एंड आई शुड बी रिलैक्सड कूल पीपल नॉट एजुटेटेड पीपल सो वी शुड बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल विद आउट कम्युनिकेशन दट इज दोरी हाउ लेट्स गो वी आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग ऑन अ जर्नी ram shri ram reaches a place where there is a boat man okay the boat man ram says can you help me cross over to the other side the boat man says no he says why he says see ram i have heard a story that once upon a time when you were in your A young age, you were going about with sage Vasista, or uh, yeah, you your foot hit a rock, and us me say a halia lady came out. So I am worried that your foot will hit my boat and a lady will come. I am already married. I have six children and one more lady. How will I marry? I am a poor man, poor man. So Ram said, "Are you? What are you talking?" but what is the solution so the boatman said sir allow me to do something allow me to wash your feet allow me to wash your feet once your feet is wa- feet sir feet is washed you can get on to my boat it's a lovely story you know so that kevat and his entire family come and wash purushottam ram's feet and they do abhishek with that jala And Sri Ram boards the boat, and he looks at Kevat and says, "I know you played this trick only for washing my feet." So this is a beautiful relationship of a king with his subjects. He is a prince. The prince is exiled. Once the prince is exiled, he loses all his privileges. So you cannot wash the feet of an exiled prince. And suppose he had said, "Sir, I want to wash your feet." Kevat Ram would have said, "No, no, no! I cannot agree for all this." So this Kevat, this boatman, was such a great bhakta that he found an excuse to wash his guru's feet, his lord's feet. So here bhakti comes. In bhakti, we all become very, very humble people. Bhakti also, a bhakti doesn't mean only this bhakti. Bhakti means deep affection. Deep affection for the other person. Somebody sent me a beautiful coat today. It was so touching, lovely coat the person sent. There is a horse. There is a branch on top of that. There is one fellow. The horse is saying to the fellow, "I am not bothered about tomorrow. I am bothered only today. And today I am in love with you." The love means a deep affection here. There is a deep affection. 
there is a deep regard, there is a deep caring for these people. When there is so much of caring, you know what happens? Tension goes away. There is no tension. Life becomes a pleasure, whether you are in king, you are in a palace or in the forest. So this beautiful story shows how relationship has to be maintained, whether the person is in position or in no position. The caver can say, you are no longer prince, why should I worship it? It did happens to you and me. One person very beautifully told me a story <coughs> that first year, it has happened to one of my colleagues. He went for a conference. The first year when he went, as he landed in the airport, there was a security fellow waiting, car waiting. They said, come sir, they already booked the room for you sir, breakfast sir, dinner sir. Next year when he went, nobody was there. So he had to hire his own taxi. When he went to the hotel, no booking in his name. Sir, full sir. So he had to go to the next nearby hotel and attend. Next day he attended to the conference, no table, label, you know, the conference table. So he sat among the attendees. He asked why. He said, sir, you are now retired GM. That's why. Okay, so Kevat and Shri Ram washing of features, whether you are king, ruling king or exiled king, my respect for you remains. It also reflects on Rishi Ram's conduct. He was such an enlightened and such a Muri Mariyada Purushottam that whether he was king or not a king, people always respected him. That's a beautiful story. Lovely story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another 15 minutes time to tell you a few more stories. So now they go down. And uh, the rest of the everybody knows the story. I don't want to repeat that. Some other day when we'll do it. When we do exclusive drama and alone. At that point of time, Sita is abducted. Ravan is taking her. And she's screaming for help. Nobody is coming for help. There was an old feeble bird called Jatayu. Jatayu came and fought with the king. Ravan. Ravan is a mighty warrior. Jatayu no, he knew he had no chance. But still Jatayu fought. And his wing was cut. He fell down wounded. And uh, he lived long enough to tell Sri Ram that so and so has taken. And Jatayu died. And Ram did the Antim Kriya Karam for Jatayu. Beautiful story which you and I have to learn to relate to today. <clears throat> then Adharma happens. Whether you are strong or weak, first protest. At least write a letter to the editor. At least put a Facebook post, Twitter, Instagram. If you are going to keep Silent when adharma is happening, the same adharma can happen for you also, and the rest nobody will open them. Chatayu was feeble, he knew he had no chance, but he raised the voice and fought. The biggest problem with the world today, in our country today, is when something wrong goes, people who matter don't talk. Somebody Virgati, you know, becomes a martyr in the border, defending our borders. It doesn't even feature in the newspaper. Some son of celebrity okay, does something wrong for 10 successive days, first page. And the whole of the city protests that poor young boy must be protected. So somewhere, you know, our priorities are going wrong. So Treta Yuga talks about at the end of the Treta Yuga, priority started going wrong. Ravan came in the guise of a sannyasi. That means priority is gone. You are showing a clear picture, but under devil. That means priorities are going wrong. In Dwapara Yuga during Mahabharata time, so much of priority is gone. In the public, they were humiliating Draupadi and a big warrior like Bhishma said, what do I do? Adharma. So 
for, for you and me, it's very important. Today is a world full of information explosion. When you hear a dharma happening, register your protest. Jagdish Bhai wants to say something. One at the end of it, please, Jagdish Bhai. You're welcome. So, <clears throat> this is an important lesson. Don't look at your strength. I am strong, I will protest. I am weaker, kya tomorrow it will happen to you. At least write a letter to the editor. At least write carefully using proper words. Use proper words. Register your protests. Because when you register a protest, it's an action. Action will produce result. Karm ka pal will come to you. It will come to the world. It's very important. Very important. So now, let's go further down. <clears throat> we are going further down. We are not going to the how, what do you call, Hanuman went out that side and uh, that I'm not going to go into that story. I'm only going into the story of building the bridge. Building the bridge. So Sri Ram is saying build a bridge. We are going to build a bridge. Now, in your team, the strongest member is, there is a person. So for everything, will you use the same man? So Sri Ram did an excellent leadership study. He said for appropriate job, I will use appropriate people. So for building the bridge, he said the rocks will be thrown by two persons, Null and Neel. Okay? Null and Neel had a quality. When they throw rocks, the rocks will not sink. They will float on water. I'm not going to get the science of the whole thing. See, when we are doing teamwork today, today when we are in working in teams, and if you are a leader, a project manager, head of the team, you should be smart enough to identify who are the people who are best suited for that job. Don't always call your strongest to force. Just look at who can do the job. For example, I would like to look at the recently held yesterday it happened, T20. What Australia did and what New Zealand failed to do. Okay. New Zealand did, did very good fighters, very gritty. We all feel sad you know, that New Zealand did not win. They, they came to two finals in the World Cup, they did not win. One World Cup 20, this also not. Very good team, very gentleman team. But somewhere along their way, the planning went wrong. They planned, but did not plan for the other fellow's change of plan. So, one down, the fellow called us and they sent Mitchell Marsh and he started hitting. There are no counter to Mitchell Marsh. So, if you are a team captain, as Mariada Purush Ram, he always didn't depend upon his best man. He identified the right man for the right job. The bridge was built and while building the bridge, a squirrel, you know, a gilahari came for help. Everybody said, what will the gilahari do? The gilahari wet its body <coughs> and went between the rocks and bombing, it acted as a strong bind between the rocks. And they say Sri Ram patted the squirrel. That's why there are three marks on the back of the squirrel. Now, they go to the war. So, always remember, choose the right man for the right job. Man management technique, which we can relate to in our day-to-day -day life. And let's go further. The actual war is happening between Sri Ram's army and Ravan's army. Okay. Somebody should go as a dhuta. For Sri Ram, somebody goes as a dhuta to Ravan's court and talks to Ravan and says, Hey Ravan, you have done something wrong. Please return Sita Mata. We will go away. Look at the power of the dhuta. He is talking on behalf of Ravan. We will go away. Ram says, All this is not possible. Ravan says, All this is not possible. Before that, Ravan says, what's your name? Oh, Anga, Danga, Danga, da cha cha. You are son of King Bali, Bali. Not Bali, Bali. 
a my friend bali and you are joining hands with rama who killed your father look how the enemy is taunting him previously the queen was taunted okay see you are somebody you are brother you are a second class citizen and the person fell a trap the queen fell as a trap this fellow is an ordinary soldier and the uh, king of the other country says your father bali is my friend and ram killed your father and you are joining him angad replied he said hey ravan do you remember your fight with bali you know wali what wali did to you wali hit you so hard that you could not recover for so many time and i was a child who was i started playing with you as a 10 headed uh, insect ram killed that bali remember that bali who finished you ram killed that bali so when somebody attacks you you should have enough communication to give back your strength is a problem with many of us you know they are not is not a reflection on anybody a lot of people have changed but there were times you know when somebody from abroad will come and say your country is very dirty i will say yes yes sir this place is not okay you should come and see even more dirty places i will show you somebody says you no know, somebody says you people have no traffic discipline at all you say yes yes sir we are very undisciplined is a very good writer he has also come on youtube channels and tv channels somebody told him in india you don't seem to follow traffic rules this is not it's not like that he said you people have no problem about enforcing discipline because in your road every 1 mile there is only one car whereas in india every 100 meters there are 50 cars so and you see all these sooty and you say with one car when one car hits the other car there are so many fatalities there is in india so many car there is right there people will be managing we are good negotiators jugad mein sab chalta hai we are okay as a nation there is not a problem ours is not a problem we are 5000 years old much older than your nation so don't come in criticize us so like that you know angad was a person who knew how to defend his stand is a problem with india you know india lost one match all over the world posting shame shame it what is their shame it's a game it's a game one day you can lose one day you can win shame 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 these people should be flogged they should not be paid this shows a lack of maturity this is this comes from educated people not uneducated that could be okay now comes the actual war what was the formation v formation ram was in the front the army was behind it's lesson for you and me then you are issue as at stake lead from the front you take the initiative if your issue is at stake don't say you go and fight for me you go fight for me. you go you lead from the front then you are issue is at stake Ram, Sri Ram's wife was abducted. So he said, "I will put the people in the front. All of you come behind me." Why did Ravan fail? Ravan was sitting in the palace, asking his brother to fight, his son to fight. It was a beautiful dialogue. You know, his son asks, "He has a father. Why should I fight?" He said, "Ram has come." He said, "What has he come for? Is he an invader to our land?" Ravan didn't have an answer. Mandodri says, "You abducted another man's wife. He has come to claim his wife, and you are sending your son to fight. This is what kind of a character you are. You have got ten heads. So ten heads stands for ten degrees. You know, many of us may be very, very highly qualified people, positions of great power, but." what happens you know there is a very beautiful uh, kabir das ke dohe he said when the educated people fall from grace you know there is no redemption at all if you have got a good education if you have got a good background if you have got a great background kind of person you cannot afford to do mistakes 
you should be extra careful. That's why even in law, we have something called exemplary punishment. Ordinary man, small punishment. Big man makes big men, give him big punishment. But now nobody is following all that. So this is a very beautiful story saying that, you know, if it's your battle, you lead for the front. So if it's your issue, you lead for the front. Don't ask others to fight. Then let's come towards the <clears throat> end of the story. This story is a lot of people dispute and a lot of people come and fight with me also. They will send me a lot of posts saying your, your view is wrong and things like that. So, everything is back in Ayodhya, all hunky dory. One day Sri Ram hears a rumor saying that, do you think I am Sri Ram who brought Sita back from uh, Ravan and keep in the house? I am not like that. You are, did not live with me for one year, so go. So this is what uh, a washerman told his wife. Sri Ram heard and acted. Now, in the beginning I told you, no, don't can't ka kacha nahi hona you should have poor self-image, you should not have all that. How can you listen to an image, I mean, some washerman and come back with his opinion? Forget the story part. At that time, he is a Raja. The Raja has to be responsive to even the lowest of the Praja. Meaning, it, it's only a metaphor, you know, it's called an absolute metaphor. Even the lowest of Praja thinks and talks something privately, the Raja should respond to that. The Raja should be responsive. The government should be responsive to the common man. It's an ideal. And Ram sends it away. It's a very beautiful story. You know? They say, Surpanaka came and met Rasita at that time. I don't know what is the source of the story, but it's very interesting. So I'm quoting. My good friend Dev Dutt Patnaik said this. And it's, uh, that's why you know, I'm acknowledging his contribution. A wonderful storyteller, right? And, uh, so what happened was, uh, there's a Surpanaka better Sita. And she said, see, Ram, 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 you are after Ram, Ram, Ram. Ram not only cut my nose, he has also sent you out of palace. What kind of a man is he? So, Sita replies very beautifully. She says, Ram did something to you 12 years ago. You are remembering him even today? Andar se ghutan oriya. You are having steam inside, tension inside. You still not got over that old injury. So, many of us are still carrying old injuries, you know. What happened at the age of 10? What happened at the age of 10? 14, 15, 19, 20, 22, somebody broke my heart. 25, somebody broke my heart. We are carrying all those stories. She says, I am in Ram Rajya. Okay. In a Ram Rajya, even every mosquito is protected. Nobody is abandoned. I am in Ram Rajya. And she added, Raja Ram can be away from Sita. But Sita Ram can never be away from Sita. Meaning, official position may keep me away. But he is constantly thinking only of me. You know, look, at the, look at the beauty of the emotion there. And it is that. And then she lived. She was not abandoned actually. In Ram Raji, everybody is safe. Two lovely children were born. It's absolute safety. Nobody is chain snatching and abducted her or anything like that. She lived comfortably. Like that. You know, Ramayana has got so many stories. It's, got, it's a treasure house. There are people, so many people who have Ramayana at home. Keep it there. Do puja and put it back inside. Please don't keep Ramayana. Back. Read Ramayana. Read it. Read it with your children. All of you sit together and read. And when you read Ramayana, find out how I can relate to it. What is the lesson for me in this? Ramayana is Itihasa and it is valid after so many thousand or lack of years quite simply because it has lessons for you even today 
for you and me. It can change our life. It can bless our lives. We in India are very, very fortunate to have such such kavya. Imagine, you know, giants like Valmiki, Tulsidas. Tulsidas ji wrote it in such simple language. Anybody can understand. And you can sing it aloud. So such amazing compositions are allowed, uh, available with us. Every house must have this. Three books all of you must have. Every house. It is not a religious preaching, okay? It's every human being. Ramayan, Mahabharat, Bhagavad Gita. There are three volumes which teach you how to live your life better. Purna Arogyata, Purna Ananda. How to get is available in these So in this one hour, I'm so happy I got an opportunity to share my thoughts with you. None of these thoughts are mine. They're all taught to be mine by my gurus and by giants and my grandparents. My parents, they've all read it out to me. My teachers, giants who I've moved with, they are the people who taught me. There are a lot of such stories, plenty of such stories. Ramayana alone, we can have a 10 days of webinar. In due course, we'll have other things. We'll talk about Mahabharata. We'll talk. So many things we are planning. Please be in touch. Please be regularly in touch. Abhishek will communicate to all of you. Thank you very much. Namaste. If anybody wants to share ideas, you're back. Jagdish Ji, you want to say something? Jagdish Ji has raised his hand. He raised his hand. Jagdish? Raghavan sir is there. Ah, Raghavan sir. Raghavan Ji. Unmute. Please unmute. Uh, it was an excellent uh, excellent narration. I enjoyed it, actually. Uh, just want to ask you only one question. Uh, you said uh, Ramayana is the Ithyasa, or the, the facts, uh, I mean, the events have taken place. So uh, people, you know, worship today Rama as a god. So my question is, uh, what, is Rama a human being or he was a god? Lovely, lovely question. And I would look at it this way. For us to understand Sri Ram, we need to go to the depth of Vedic philosophy. In Vedic philosophy, God and man is never different. It says, Tat Tvam Asi. You are God. When I look at God with these two eyes, it is called Dekhna. When I lift my vision to the forehead, it is called darshan. So have darshan in human being, you can see Ishwara. So if you want to look at Sri Ram, fine, Maryada Purushottam. But if I want to have a darshan and continue to have darshan even in Kali Yuga, my God, he is something special. This needs a special Indian vision, you know. And this vision is Indian, not Indian vision. It has come from India. This vision should be shared by the world. That's my understanding, sir. Humble understanding. Great, great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Good. So, thank you very much for people who have come here and honored us by your presence. Please keep in touch. We will have programs every Monday. We will come with further questions. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, to come.